Hi guys, thanks again for visiting us at RS Aquaculture. So in this video, I'll be going through one of the new schemas that we've recently installed in our new holding tank. It's a new upgrade and I'll be going through what is this schema and why are we installing it and where did we install it in our holding tank systems. So before going into details, it might be wise at this point to explain to everybody why do we actually need these protein schemas. So for those who have been following our channel, we know that we use this small holding tank system to receive incoming crabs that are we buy in bulk. So meaning to say that we buy in about 100 kilos or 200 kilos each time. And every time we do that, we see an increase in spike in ammonia. So as you can see here, during the 30th of March, and when we had incoming on the 1st of April, the ammonia level spiked into 2 and gradually reduced into 0.5 over the subsequent days. This is because no rust system is actually designed for peak capacity all the time. Uh, and generally when you have huge incomings of crabs, you will see a temporary spike in ammonia. And these temporary spikes in ammonia might cause sudden mortality in some of the newer crabs that has just arrived from a long distance supply chain. So what exactly is a protein schema? So unlike the other conventional filtration, a protein schema does not filter out using mechanical methods. Instead, it relies on air bubble to force the dirt to accumulate onto the air bubbles and it is removed by adhering onto the air bubbles and foaming out. So as you can see, this is a concentrated liquid of how the waste from the protein schema actually look like. And we can also see how the air bubbles is actually pushing up all of the scum and sludge that is being filtered away from the water. The efficiency of the schema is really only dependent on the diameter of the air bubbles. So if the air bubble is smaller, more waste is actually being attached to the surface areas of the air molecules. And it is being pushed up over time, as you can see what's happening over in our schema here. So here's a quick animation on how does the air, the dirt or the particles that are smaller than 30 micron that will attach into the air bubbles. So and it is being carried up onto the surface because the air bubbles are actually lighter. The function of the protein schema is not to replace any of the other filtration systems that are available. It is actually a bonus or complementary system that acts on its own. As you can see, we have actually attached this protein schema after the biofiltration systems. And it is actually being powered by a small pump that pumps the water into the schema and the schema treats it and just re reintroduces the water back into the tank post the K1. The reason for incorporating a schema at this point is because previously we have found that a lot of fine solids that will tend to accumulate in the retention tank despite already having a quite a small size sand filtration and biofiltration or any smaller debris that have actually existed in the water that might not be efficiently removed by the sand filtration. So here's a video of the schema once it was just installed when it was newly installed into our holding tanks. And here's the schema after a few days after installation. You can see that the debris is actually building up on the top part. So you can see that this is when the water quality of when we started to install the schema. And we'll show you a comparison after a few hours after the schema is installed. So you can see that we can actually see the bottom much better. And this is with the actually a high loading capacity of introducing of crabs inside the holding tanks. So that's all for this video. We hope you enjoy and hope to see you again at RS Aquaculture.